This is a tutorial on part five for the Bacchanal Saisons that we're doing as Project 14. I will show more about how we tape the music together, some tricks for that and how to turn the page. This is what it looks like. All taped together. If you look really close, you see there's a space in between. That way, when you fold pages back and forth like that, they can lay down flat on your stand better. And when you put it on the stand, lay it out like this, then you can turn these two at the same time at that spot where it's got four measures of rest. One, two, three, four. And hopefully you'll be able to do it quickly in time. Another thing you can do is bend the corner of the page so that you can easily grab both pages when it's time to turn a page. Ready, turn, there it is. So, because if you don't, if you're trying to fumble through while you're counting the one, two, three, four, play, you might not have enough time. But right now, I'm going to start talking about some of the problems you might run into. Starting at the end, if you've never seen those little slashes on the lines on the notes before, that's for tremolo. And instead of just playing a half note, you just play it back and forth pretty quick. And the best way is if you do it from your hand, your wrist, not your whole arm. If you're trying to do it with your whole arm, you're going to get really tense and tired really fast. You want to try and do it just you want to do it above the middle of your bow and or even if we're loud it'll still you'll still want to come out a little bit above the middle of the bow so that you can, it's almost like you have a pivot in the middle of your arm your arm is a seesaw so now backing up a minute to letter i it looks really busy and fast that is pretty fast. If that's too difficult for you, you can play just the D, A, D, G on the first note of each one. And if that's still too fast, then you can just you know, keep simplifying it that way. Same thing back at letter G. At letter G, it's supposed to be going, if you're on the bottom part... part is going to be going back and forth between the strings, but trying to keep your bow pretty much on the string. Don't let it bounce. You'll run out of control real fast. If that's too fast, you can just play the downbeat of each measure. In all of these things, the most important part is to stay in time with everybody else. So if you're hearing the in the head, in the headphones or earpiece, you want to have these to be on those beats with it. And you can go through and mark that you're only playing the bottom. Or, or if you can do part of it, that's fine. But always make sure it's right on time. So... And at, at G, it just suddenly starts, it's getting, it's gotten a lot faster. So I think he said 148, it might be even faster than that. I'm not sure, I haven't timed it. But then the tricky part halfway between F and G is when it starts doing things on the syncopated beats. At F, everything is just on the beats, like one. part where it gets trickier and I think Tony missed a slur on the bottom part in measure uh, 162, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, eight, 8 to 9. Those should also be slurred across and do the same bowing as the top part. I think he just missed one. 
So when we're at 162, three, 164, if you keep thinking 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 1, 2 and 1. Once you get back onto the on beats, it's a little easier. If that's too tricky, it's okay to drop out for a few measures and come back in. So I'm going to go back again. When there's that long note starting in measure 131, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like 17 measures long, you don't have to change at any special time. Also supposed to be quiet all that we're just the uh, underpinning while other people are doing big loud things I would actually go in and write in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so you know there's exactly 17 measures long or you can listen for Tony say letter F and be ready to go on to and those notes at F are short so we're going to back up now to the first couple pages. And again, at the very beginning, when the soloists are playing, you just hold this A and just, it's just hold and hold and hold and hold. And just keep it quiet. And when you have to change the bow, just change the bow gently. And just keep it quiet. No vibrato. We want a very almost like a wind sound. So just keep it quiet, make sure it's in tune. And then just stop when he says letter A. Then we go to pizzicato. If you've never held the bow while you're pizzicatoing, the quickest way to do it, just curl the whole thing up into your hand. So you're holding it into the palm of your hand and then put your first finger out and you can pluck while you're holding the bow that way. Because you don't want to put the bow down. For one, it might make sound on the stand. And for two, you have to pick it back up again at letter C. So when you're done playing the long A, curl the bow up into your hand. Get your first finger ready. I usually put the thumb on the side of the fingerboard. And you always want to pluck sideways. So that it doesn't snap on the fingerboard like You don't want to get that extra slap of the string hitting the fingerboard. When you pluck, these are all on beats, like one and two and one, two, 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 one. So those will all be on the beat. All that extra rest just means we want the sound to be soft. You don't want it to ring and be super loud until you get to letter at the end when it gets louder towards letter C. And so when you get to the measure before C, you're finally going that shh. This rhythm, it's just, it's just grasshopper, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down. A little longer on the eighth notes, a little shorter on the sixteenth notes. If, if you can do it around the balance point of your bow, or middle, stay on a string, but soft, and watch out for the measures where he shows just four eighth notes instead of that rhythm. So you do this, two measures, three measures, four measures, da 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 Stay soft, and then you don't get loud. As a matter of fact, you get even softer at the bottom of the page, and then when you get to 53, 54, 55 is where you start getting louder. The only notes that would be loud before that have the little accent mark, that little sideways carrot symbol. So that, and if you're on the bottom part, it's just the low D. If you have trouble getting your C string to speak that well, you can just play eighth notes the whole time. And that goes for the upper part too. If you can't get that to speak well, in time, 
You can just play eight notes the whole time. So either way, the idea is keep the, te the tempo the same. Keep the tempo the same as everybody else. That's steady. Because we're kind of like the drum in that. The bump. And now when we get to measure 58, 59, 60, 61, where we start doing one, two, three. practice the rhythm it's like two one two one two and 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 one two one two one two and one and two and one and two one two one two and 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 one so that the, the second half of each of those phrases if you're going along one two ready go one two one two one two and 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 one two one two one Two and 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 one and two one two one two and one and two and one two one, two that rhythm comes back again at letter D. It comes back again later in the piece. Just pretty much any time it's syncopated, you want to kick those notes a little stronger. So every one of those accents, those little hash marks, just bite the string, catch the string a little bit more, but you press down and catch it a little bit stronger on those. Are all those and 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 you want to really drive it forward and then finally I'm going to go ahead and play through the whole thing there is a way that you can set your YouTube video to play it slower and I'll show you how to do that and then we're going to play through this whole song One other thing, we're going to need to make one bow change at the last note of 70 played down. So, here we go.
that's it.